Crypto is still generally pretty new, but the Cardano space is especially new. Due to that fact, I think that it's important to keep up on all of the best security practices that you can, and I think that I have one that you've never heard of before. Stick around to find out what it is. Welcome Late Game Crypto. My name is Josh, and I'm here helping you make smarter investments for late game gains. Remember, anything you see in any of my videos is not to be taken as financial advice. Do your own research and own your own decisions. There are some arguments to suggest that Cardano is safer than most other blockchains. Not just because of how it was designed under the extended UTXO model, but also because it has a completely new invented programming language that malicious actors don't yet know how to navigate. Still, that doesn't mean that we should be ignoring the best practices to secure our crypto. In fact, I think the newer landscape of Cardano is probably an even bigger reason to be conscious of security practices because we don't know what new exploits might be found out there. This is going to be a relatively short video because I want it to be accessible and not so time-consuming that it convinces people not to watch it, so let's go ahead and get started. The first and most widely known layer of security is a hardware wallet, which requires physical buttons to be pressed before a transaction can be validly submitted. This way, in the event that you mistakenly click a malicious link, hackers do not have the ability to access the private keys that are stored on your software wallet because they're stored on the hardware wallet. I've got a tutorial that I've already made on how to set up a hardware wallet. I will link that up there. And down there, I have some links in the description for some of the best crypto security equipment that you can get access to. Another effective practice for securing your crypto assets is to have a dedicated device that you only use to interact with your crypto assets. I've got a colleague that does this, and it works out pretty well for him. He's got a dedicated laptop that he uses exclusively for interacting with his crypto assets, and he doesn't use it at all, ever, to interact with any social media or email or website browsing. It's only used to interact with crypto-based dApps. And this may be a more expensive solution, but I think that it's definitely worth it if you have the means. And now, there is one way to store your crypto that is 100% resistant to software hacks or hardware compromises or any kind of phishing scam, and you might be surprised at how inexpensive it is to utilize this method. Send your crypto to a newly created, fresh, non-custodial wallet, and then delete it from whatever device that you're using it on. I think that the absolute best way to do this is probably to create that wallet on a fresh, brand new device that has never been used before, just right out of the box. But just for good measure, after you've deleted the wallet from whatever device you're accessing on, you can also just factory reset that device altogether to make sure that there is no trace of that wallet being created. I guess what I'm getting down to is the absolute safest way to store your cryptocurrency is no wallet at all. Or I guess no openly accessible wallet. Let me explain. The vulnerability of any software wallet, whether that be a light wallet or hot wallet, or a full node wallet like Daedalus or something like that, it inherently has to store your private keys in order to keep functioning as an accessible wallet. Your private keys, what they do is they create access points to any compatible device where you would like to access your crypto assets. So if those access points pose a potential vulnerability to somebody getting access to your crypto assets, then the safest way would be to have no openly accessible access point. If there's no access point on any technological medium, then your assets are safely stored on the blockchain that are not accessible to anyone at all unless they are recovered by the private keys at the time and place of your choosing. Quick disclaimer on this method, it does create a single point of failure. 
So if you lose your private keys, you're just f But if you keep your private keys on a secure and durable fireproof medium, you don't have to worry about your private keys getting destroyed. You can keep it in a home safe or a safety deposit box so that that single point of failure is very well protected. Now, another quick disclaimer, I think that this method could be more of a security liability if you frequently recover your wallet. So this method is strictly for people that are planning on holding their assets for years at a time. And the great part about using this method on Cardano is that Cardano staking automatically calculates your unclaimed stake rewards into the interest-bearing balance. So you can literally just stake it and it will see compound rewards on its own without you having to go in and claim those staking rewards every so often. Even if you don't end up actually using this method, this video is really just a reminder of how powerful your private keys are. They represent ownership and control over your assets. That's why I stress the importance of these steel seed phrase plates, which I've got affiliate links for down below. And I promise that I'm not just pushing these to make money off of it. I've intentionally chosen the most reasonably priced products that maintain a minimum standard of quality so that I can encourage a higher standard of security to as many people as I can. This video is meant to be just a promotion of security, and I hope that it's something that people can access years into the future and still get some value from it I hope that you got some value from it too. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification down below so you don't miss any of my Cardano-based content every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, remember never to invest more than what you can afford to lose, learn as much as you can about this space, and play for the late game. Thanks so much for watching.